Thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Thomas heading through the day today. One more quiet day ahead of the late week storm that we've been tracking throughout the week tonight and Friday. That's when we're going to see this move in and see the impacts from this alert weather on the way for Friday with this storm. And it'll start with some snow and then heavy rain across parts of the state as this continues to track its way northward. Areas that see snow initially will see a change over to rain. Strong wind gusts are going to be a big impact this time around. Around. This, of course, will lead to holiday travel impacts, the potential for outages and flooding, all concerns as well. So initially, we get some snow coming down for northern and western parts of the state. Minimal accumulation as you head west and across parts of the Monadnock region, but you head north in New Hampshire and across the White Mountains, and that's where you could pick up several inches of snow before that changeover to rain happens. And then we're talking about the wind. The wind picks up as this moves in late tonight and into Friday. Wind watches and warnings in effect across the state. As far as the timing of winds by tonight, we'll see those gusts pushing 30 miles per hour. And then by tomorrow morning, if you have to commute early or head out in the morning, we're already going to see gusts to 45, 50 miles per hour in spots at times. There could even be some gusts that reach 60 miles per hour, especially across the mountains and right at the coastline where the wind gusts will be strongest. And it stays windy even Friday night into Saturday. Winds will subside a little bit, but we could still get some gusts around 30 miles per hour by Saturday morning. In addition to the wind, flooding is a concern not only because of the rain, but we have an astronomical high tide at the coast Friday morning around 1030. It's so those onshore winds going to help push some of the water ashore could lead to a bit of storm surge, moderate flooding, a possibility that could lead to road closures, large battering waves also causing splash over and beach erosion. So messy coastal conditions and then a flood watch across most of the state in general. We could see some small stream or river flooding, localized flooding on area roadways, certainly some ponding on roadways as heavy rain comes down, but also the mild temperature temperatures and the rain leading to snow melt and that could contribute to flooding concerns as the day goes on. As far as rainfall totals go, generally one to three inches across the state. There could be some isolated higher amounts as you head up in elevation across some of the mountains, but Either way, it is going to be an impactful storm. You'll notice that we're quiet for the time being out ahead of this system. Clouds continue to thicken up through the afternoon, but today temperatures climb into the 30s for highs. With those clouds, we stay dry during the daylight hours. So if you have any errands to run, last minute shopping to do, today is a good day to do it. Tonight, we see that system move in as snow initially for western and northern parts of the state. You get rain as you head south in the state and then eventually everywhere changes over to rain as we head into Friday. And we're going to see a warm up in our temperatures for Friday too. So that mild air moves in overnight and that's why we'll get that changeover. So here's the timing. Could see a few flakes or some raindrops out ahead of this system as we head through the evening commute hours. And then by later tonight, 9, 10 o'clock, this starts to fill in a little bit and it will become steady across the state overnight. And as we head into Friday morning, notice the difference between that snow and then the yellows and oranges, some of the heavy rain coming down as you head south in the state overnight. But that rain starts to push its way northward. We see that changeover from snow to rain, even in those northern areas as we head through Friday morning. And we'll continue to see rain coming down, downpours through the morning before tapering off a little bit into more of scattered on and off showers and downpours as we head into the afternoon. And then a sharp cold front comes through later on Friday, and that is going to trigger some gusty winds, but also it's going to bring in much colder air and we may get a quick little burst of some snow showers if that colder air can come in fast enough. And with that cold air, something to think about is the potential for some flash freezing on any wet surfaces or standing water that hasn't dried out before those temperatures drop. Now the good thing is the wind could help dry out some of those surfaces before the temperatures plummet, but there's definitely going to be some freezing of puddles and standing water. So be cautious. There could be icy spots late Friday night, 
early Saturday morning. As far as the temperatures go, here's the swing. We get into the 40s and 50s for highs on Friday during the afternoon, and then we plummet through the 30s and 20s in the evening. And then just a couple hours later, we're in the teens and 20s. And overnight into Saturday, we drop into the single digits and teens for lows. And remember, it's still going to stay windy, so the wind chills are likely going to be below zero across the area early Saturday morning. So a lot going on as we head through the end of our week with this system from the snow to the rain to the wind to the flooding concerns to the coast, the temperature swing and then the potential for some flash freezing Friday night into Saturday with those cold temperatures taking hold for the Christmas weekend. You'll notice highs over the weekend only in the 20s, but it will be drier and that'll make for some better travel conditions as you head towards the holiday.